Welcome back to the vlog guys. I want to take you guys along for today. I'm going to be showing you guys how I film my TikToks and my reels. And I'm basically just going to like film it for you, but also with the camera and set up in the shots so you guys can see kind of like the back end of what's going on. I also have a package that I just got that I want to open up. Actually, let's film a TikTok for this because this is good content. For my TikToks and my reels, I use this little tripod right here. It actually extends really, really long. It goes out to like about here. So what I'm gonna do is the package is here. My phone is just in the middle of charging right now and I'm probably gonna open it on this little counter right here. So I'm just gonna open up all of this so that I can have it as tall as possible. And then I'm gonna unplug my phone. I'm gonna clean off the camera. This is a really strange angle. And I'm gonna open this. Let's see what background looks good. I'll kind of just play around with it and see. So I'm gonna go here. And I don't really like this. This just looks too busy. So what I'm gonna do is use my cutting board that I have right here. Let's see if I like that better. Mm, I'm still not really a big fan of that. We're gonna go and find a spot to put this stuff and to open it up. Actually, maybe we can do my lash bed. And because I'm actually filming a TikTok right now, I'm most likely gonna leave the audio of it in as well. So I'm gonna go quiet so you guys can hear like the sounds of me opening this. Okay, so I just filmed all of that content. I stay quiet so that I can, I'm still gonna put music on top of it, but I also will just leave some of that audio in so you can hear like the box being opened up and things like that. Now I wanna show you guys the necklace. So I got two of these necklaces. I've been seeing them for months. They are the En Route and Colleen Diaz collaboration. I love Colleen Diaz. She makes YouTube videos and I've been watching her ever since I was in like high school. Maybe even middle school now that I'm thinking about it. I think I might have been like 13 when she started making videos. Basically, she did a collab with them and I've been seeing her wear these necklaces all the time and they look so good. And every time I go on like Instagram or Pinterest and I see someone's jewelry that I'm like, oh, what is that? I want to get that. It's literally this brand and this collab and I'm like, okay, I need to just bite the bullet and get it. They're actually really unique. So basically... You can wear them just like this, and then it's connected to a big cross at the bottom. And then what you can do is you can actually disconnect. I have the other one disconnected so I can just show it to you. But you can actually disconnect the cross from the necklace. So then it turns into just the chain itself. And then you can also control where the chain falls. If I did it loose, it would fall like here. But let's say I did it tight, I could put it like up here. And if you put this part in the front, it can have like this little detail here where it's just like a long extra piece. Next thing I wanna film is putting away all of this stuff that I have packed. So we're gonna put away like my skincare and I'm just gonna film. Okay, so this is what the shot looks like. I'm gonna try and get in right over here so I can actually put this stuff away. I don't wanna be in it. So it's gonna have to be like a very quick, like, you know, super quick. The next one we have here is this suitcase I need to unpack and so I want to film a little cute TikTok with this. I'm going to actually just make the background a little neater. So because the shot looks like this, you can see the camera um, tripod in it, you can see like my slippers in it, and I just don't want all that stuff in the video. I'm going to just click on two and see what it looks like from that angle. And now that I've angled it to a place where I feel like it's still cute. I could actually even go like this so that majority of the bag is fit in the video. And then when I open it, it'll look like that. If your tripod's in the way, just zoom it in and then adjust your object so that it like looks better. That's the end of that clip. So now I have putting that stuff away. I have unpacking my luggage. I'm also gonna do one of me putting my clean dishes out of the dishwasher and into like the cupboards and stuff. I think that's all of the TikToks we're gonna film today. I'm trying to just film as much as I can of just like everything I'm doing because I haven't filmed in a little while and I feel kind of guilty about it, okay? <laughs> saw 
about just now what I was unpacking, but I unpacked a bunch of stuff. And then at the bottom I had this. These are two records I picked up when I was in the States. So I got this Fleetwood Mac record player, record player, record. I'm out of breath right now. And then this Alicia Keys one. I'm very excited. I haven't gotten a new record in a little while. And every time I buy a new one, it's been just like at the thrift store and it's like a random one that I don't even know any songs on. I just pick it up because it's cheap and I like the cover and I'm curious what it's gonna sound like. And usually I end up liking it, so it works out, but yeah. Say hi to my baby dog. Say hi to my baby dog. He was such a good boy. I heard that you were a really good boy. I'm gonna put these away. Okie dokes. I'm gonna put this away too. <sighs> I need to do laundry, but I'm not gonna film that because I have to take it downstairs and that's just not aesthetic and also too much work. So, talk to you in a second. Hey guys, welcome back. It's actually a new day. I wanna show you guys kind of how I edit my TikToks, how I find audios, just all of that stuff and take you guys on like the back end of everything. So you guys saw how I set up my camera, the tripod that I use, I'll link it down below. It's from Amazon. You wanna come up? Come up, puppy. So I also filmed a outfit video yesterday. I just found like a cute background and basically I just filmed myself putting on my shoes and putting on my purse, closing up my bag. My outfit was already on, so I basically just did like final touches to make it look like I was getting dressed on the, on the video, but it was mainly just me trying to show the outfit and not wanting to just stand there awkwardly, basically. So I did that and then I put the video into CapCut, which is the software that I use, or not software, what's it called? The app that I use. It's free, it's literally the best editing app ever um, for TikToks and stuff, so I would definitely recommend using it. Basically all you do is you open up the video. So this is like a video of me walking and doing like a little outfit TikTok. I'll play it so you guys can see what it looks like. Basically just me walking, as you can see. This is a video that's gonna be something for later. Um, I want to film a bunch of videos like that and then combine them so it's just like a bunch of outfits in one video But we're gonna do a little cut of this So something you can do that makes videos automatically look so much more interesting is just make Cuts frequently throughout the video because it just keeps it interesting and it looks like you're constantly looking at something new So for example here Let me zoom in this. I would go forward a little bit and then I would split the video and cut down the next so that now it kind of jumps a little bit. Obviously in a video when you're actually doing different things, that would be a lot more interesting. Maybe I should do a different video. So for example, this video right here, this is what it looks like just on its own. I don't want to get copyrighted. I've already posted this fully like that. I'm going to delete the little cap cut at the end because I don't want that. And then what we're going to do is skim forward a little split the video it says split right here so you'll see what i'm talking about and then just trim it a little bit shorter so now it kind of jumps but like not much it jumps a few seconds ahead so see that like it kind of just cut out a little bit and if you keep doing that all throughout the video it basically just gives little like jump cuts and something about it is very satisfying you'll see this a lot in like cleaning tiktoks or sometimes fashion TikToks, but I just did it really quick right now. So this is what it looks like now. You guys see those like kind of jumps? Like it kind of, <laughs> what is this? Basically it just makes it more interesting to look at. So that's something that I like to do. And then audio wise, typically I'll have to scroll on TikTok for a little while and see the videos that are coming up on my feed and then I'll just save them. Okay, so there's this video of this girl dancing and that is where the sound is. So I'd click on that and then I would save the video up here and then you could just use it for your next video. And I do that because typically if the video is playing on my For You page, the likelihood that it's trending or that like uh, TikTok is like pushing it is a little bit higher than just finding a random sound. And then on Instagram, it's a little bit different because you can actually see this right here at the bottom where the audio is showing. If there's a little arrow that's pointing upwards, that means that that video is kind of trending right now. So, or not that video, the audio is trending right now. So if you click on the audio, it'll tell you how many reels are being made with that video right there. If you're using a sound that has less videos already made with it, 
the higher chances that you'll actually be pushed. So for example, this is a good one because it's currently on the rise, as you can see with the little arrow pointing up. You can also see that here it says trending when you open up the audio. And then also if you look at that, it says I think 14K. Yeah, 14K. So there aren't too many videos. It's not like there's hundreds of thousands of videos being made with this audio, which means there's a less likely chance that it's oversaturated and there's an actual chance that YouTube could push I keep calling it YouTube, but not every platform is YouTube. Instagram could push my video as well. Hopefully that makes sense. So if you guys wanna see my TikToks, let me just give you guys a little shameless plug. It's the same at on everything, X, Aaron Davis X, E-R-I-N-D-A-V-I-S. There's an X in front and behind my name because I couldn't just get Aaron Davis. And I felt like the X was kinda of cute, it gave it some spice, you know? I'm just gonna sit here and edit some TikToks.